51-50. Jimmy Cabs, Dave Sherman, Eric, Earthride. Let's flash back a little bit. For those of you that are into the heavy music genre, I'm sure you've heard of a little band called Spirit Caravan. Much like these groundbreaking, ahead of their time bands, they created what now is a pop, very popular heavy music genre in 2018. Are you blown away of all the hot chicks that come to these shows now? I'm, I'm right? very surprised, Remember man. Remember all those uh, smelly bearded dudes? Man, it's, it's, it's like that, but now there's hot chicks too, you know what I mean? Like, which is really cool, man, with me, of course. But, uh, uh, you know, it, it's definitely changed right? in many ways. Uh, who who would have thought, man? All right. So as we mentioned, Spirit Caravan, Dave Sherman, after that groundbreaking band, created Earthride. Earthride's always been very interesting for me. Let's start off back then. One of the th one of the things about your band is is you come and you go. What's the story with that? You disappear. You hit you hit a potent punch and then you back off. What is that? Uh, it's just been like uh, through the years, you know. It's it's been kind of hard sometimes to keep it together, you know. And and, and different members have come and gone from the band. Uh, um, the core member, one of the core members, is uh, Eric Little over here, the drummer. He's he's he's. Um, He's been uh, in the band since we began uh, the band. He actually actually was the one who asked me to sing for the band for Earthride, and uh, he 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 is one of the sole creators of the band. Uh, it, it started in '99 uh, with Kyle Van Steinberg and um, and and Joe Ruthen, and uh, and we got signed on to um, exactly before Dave Navarro, by the way. Yeah, yeah, before yeah, whole, yeah, yeah. Before that whole probot, before uh, when Paul McCartney didn't even know who he was. Oh, you mean Dick Grohl? Yeah, me Dick Grohl. There you go. There you go. Yeah, sorry, sorry. they all—they're all the same. Excuse to me. him. <laughs> they're all the same. To me. Anyway, yeah, yeah, they're all Daves. It's all Daves. It's all Daves to me. <laughs> Paul McCartney didn't even know who the fuck he was back then. Anyways, anyway. Uh, yeah. but anyway, I love we, that record that came out on on Southern Lord back then. Taming of the Demons. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, man. Yeah, that, that that was a groundbreaking record for us. You know what I mean? And, and sound wise you know that's when it started to really roll right then you know and and like even the wizard came out with uh you know uh, uh dope throne and uh you know the melvins had a lot of good records back and and you know i mean just like stone and rock was really just in its infant style stage as compared to what it is now should i say you know what i mean Chris he engineered it and mixed the whole thing down and that's a lot about the record that's what makes it also so good because he's worked in the genre and worked with a lot of bands that had you know had that genre sound but it was a great time creatively because aside from yourself all these bands uh, uh were really it reminds me of like the 60s uh, British invasion. Each group was coming in, doing their own thing, but yet in America, a whole other genre of music was crumbing up. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, there was a lot of bands like you know, like like the West Coast bands, like you know, uh, Caius, uh, Saint Vitus, you know, Fu Man, uh, you know, I mean, all these bands, and and we're we're, we're pretty much lumped into that same thing you know what i mean and uh and me being in spirit caravan man, with wino you know and shine and joe lally being involved with uh a fugazi guys you know and joe lally putting out on our first seven inch you know that 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 really you know it, it was a whole process man to what it is to now you know with sleep and and electric wizard there's a lot of good maryland and, bands there's ton of bands that no one's ever heard of that right. play around I mean, Maryland. I yes. mean, I there's mean, really good bands Earth that... Ride is, Earthride is just like, we've been in the longevity of it for a long time, but our touring thing has not been steady enough to, to generate, you know... Well, this the, leads the, me to the, my the, second the, question. Do you feel in the history... First of all, rock historians never get it right, because uh, they, they never do, but do you feel... That Earthride is credited in the same vein as these bands that you mentioned prior. 
uh, 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 as far as Caius and, and St. Vitus and stuff, I think uh, musically we are definitely uh, on the same level. Uh, I just think that it, uh, 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 and artistically we are too. But um, unfortunately, you know, we, 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 we've let our families and, and, and lives, you know, unfortunately, like, stop us from... Um, doing a continuous touring thing which these bands have done right. you know for years and years and years to to build their their their, their um should i say their 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 career you and know? yet you still have a fan base which you know in mo in music there's no really loyalty it's very rare for loyalty because fans come and some of them it's a five by nine thing but yet you've always retained a certain loyalty which of course here you are today uh, and, and, and what comes from that is i think the music it, it, it stands its test of time and uh and, and i think it it, it it will always stand its test of time you know what i mean because it, it's timeless music you know earth ride is timeless music and, and we put everything we had into it you know as far as soul and you know and all that but of course, the life thing and, and, and drugs uh, have, have messed things up a lot, you know, through our, our career. Uh, in, in, in the band's uh, uh, history, you know what I mean? And, and which is, has kind of put it into a, a negative thing, you know what I mean? Like, as far as, like, crowd response and as far as, like, you know, popularity, should I say, you know. And, Compared to those other bands that I mentioned, you know what I mean? Like, the, yeah. You should come out to the Maryland Doomfest, man, and catch all kinds of acts, man. I mean, there's a lot of good bands in Maryland. You know, we play what we want. We don't care what everybody else plays. And, you know, that's what we do, Maryland, you know. We're influenced by an array of different bands. We just do what we do, you know. I mean, the Doomfest in Maryland's the 22nd through the 24th. Three nights of bands, uh, plus Maryland. I tell you, there's a lot of bands out there like um, Beelzefuzz and Pale Divine. There's a lot of heavy acts people can discover. You know, let's uh, let's and just the Maryland Doom Fest has expanded out. I mean, it's got it's got bigger people on it too. I mean, yeah, well, well, not just the obsessed. You know, a, a, a weed eater and wind hand too. So you know, three real hard hitters for three you know headliners for the nights, and we're on one of the nights too, Saturday night. Uh, there's unorthodox. There's you know, uh, uh, there's um, there's uh, midnight ghost train. I think that's one of their last shows too. That band. Uh, uh, there's just an array of acts on there. You know, uh, from Texas to you know all over the country. I don't know if there's any um, uh, out of, uh, European bands on it uh, yet, but I think they they might possibly have a European uh, Doom Fest in like the, the Netherlands or something like that. That's what I was hearing. Yeah. You know, just, would, just, would it be safe to say that then Earthride is back on full force? You're going to be uh, venturing out on the road and uh, possibly recording some new music. Recording. We're going we're gonna to work up a record when we get back. We already have some material, but we're going to work up a record. With when we get back, and then we're gonna get back out there. But we what, gotta get is, another. What is the organism of writing and creating in Earthright? Well, that's a good question. Not as stupid as I look. Oh. <laughs> um, I guess it's just like usually the way I did it was we have riffs, write the music, and then I I just listen to the music as we rehearse it and, and write lyrics. And Sherman would write lyrics. Um, it's actually a plain process, but it works for us, you know. Like a jamming process? Yeah, yeah. So I got, I mean, I've got a couple riffs and songs too, you know, that I, that I come up with whole songs, and Eric just comes up with the beat, you know, good beat for the, you know, for the jam, you know what I mean. Like, yeah. 